Okay, this is just a quick look at a feature that Adobe have recently added to their Document Cloud service. Now, if you have a full Creative Cloud subscription, you already have access to the Document Cloud service. It's included with it. Um, for designers, there really hasn't been anything terribly interesting in there. The Document Cloud service has been focused more on business users. So it's kind of Adobe have been taking Acrobat and building out a, essentially a document hosting service around that. Cynically, you could say it's to try and get more people locked into subscriptions, but in any case, there hasn't really been much outside of the standard Acrobat features for designers uh, until recently. In the last few weeks, they just quietly, without any real announcement, added in the ability to do client reviews. Now, this is something that you might have run across in the past using something like ProofHQ or any number of other services like that, where you can upload a file and Clients can sign in to that file and leave feedback on it, and it just gathers it all in one place for you. It's a useful service to have, but they vary in price. Some can get very expensive. Um, but yeah, now we have a basic client review system built into Acrobat, just kind of out of the blue. So I just thought I'd have a look at that just so that you have an idea of how to use it. To get files in there, all you really need to do is open a normal PDF in Acrobat and this great big blue share button will appear over here. It's been there for a while now and this is one of the confusing things about, about this upgrade. They didn't really change any of the interface to add anything to it. They just changed the way a couple of buttons that have always been there work. <laughs> because you've always actually had the ability to do this kind of a review. It's just that years ago Adobe closed down the acrobat.com service, and so there hasn't really been a way of actually sending files through an online service. The only way to do it was to set up a web dev service, which didn't work very well. So yeah, now you have the ability to do it through a cloud service, which is great. And all you need to do is, once you've opened your file, hit share. And this will, if you don't see this, by the way, you need to update Acrobat. If you, if you get a different kind of interface, if it pops up a little window in the front talking about whether you want to share files locally on a network or whether you need to enter an online service for it, then it's not. That's the old way it worked. <laughs> that's now been changed and you have the ability to share through the document cloud service. So if you click the share button and you get a little sidebar like this pop up, then you've got the right version and you're good to go. Now through this service, you can invite people directly by just typing in email addresses, and then you can send an invitation that way. So if I just enter a fake email, just to show how it goes, you can enter as many names as you need to, and what will happen is Document Cloud will send an email to those people, telling them that you've shared a file with them and you're seeking feedback on it. It's a little vague, it doesn't really include any instructions on what they have to do, so if you're dealing with people who are very not tech savvy, that can be a problem. The other issue with that can be that the service will send email follow-ups, which I've found some people get very irritated about. There doesn't seem to be any way of turning that off. So if you email people through the service, you can expect that you may get occasionally get clients complaining that you know, Document Cloud has sent them emails telling them that there are comments that have been made to that file or reminding them that it needs to be viewed, that kind of thing. So just be aware of that. Alternatively, rather than emailing people through the service, what you can also do is simply go down to the next layer here, hit get link, and it allows you to do exactly the same thing. You can choose from here whether you want people to be able to just view the file. So hit view create the link and all that will happen is it will upload the file to document cloud and people can view it they can't do anything with it they can just look at it but the review function is the new one so you hit review create the link and what will happen is the file will be uploaded to document cloud if it isn't already and then you'll get a link that you can share with anyone so we copy the link and now you can share that with whoever you need to share it with and because none of the clients are ever actually providing adobe with an email address they can't be pestered with updates. It doesn't send a lot of emails to them, maybe one or two, but it's just, again, something to be aware of. So if we go over here, I'll just pretend that I've received a link in my email. I've clicked it, and it's taken me to here. This is the document cloud interface, and it'll show that 
you have requested feedback on a particular document for them. They are given three options, review as a guest, sign in or review in Acrobat. Um, review in Acrobat's not really relevant to most clients unless you're dealing with somebody who's actually set up correctly, who has an Adobe account, who has Acrobat, who, you know, they're good to go, that's fine, click that and it'll open it up in Acrobat and they can just review it that way. If not, the one that most people are going to want to use is the review as guest button. Annoyingly, it's grayed out and they've made the prominent blue one to try and get as many people as possible to sign up for Adobe accounts. But anyway, you can send instructions to your client to tell them use the review as guest button. Once you've clicked on review as guest, you just have to enter a name so that you can provide your feedback and agree to the terms. And then you're in. Now what you have here are just the standard basic review tools. You can put a sticky note on the document, you can highlight text, you can underline text, you can cross text out, or you can scribble all over the page for reasons that escape anyone's understanding. Generally most people just use the commenting tool. So you can go here, just click somewhere, make the usual client feedback. And so, yes, clients can come through. Say, for example, there's a bit of text that needs replacing. You can strike it out. They can write in a different word. It's, yeah, it's the standard feedback tools that have existed in Acrobat for years. It's just that instead of emailing a PDF to a half a dozen people, for example, and then getting back multiple files with multiple comments that often conflict, you can have everybody signed into the one document online with one URL and everyone can see everyone else's feedback. So if another client signed into this and disagreed with the change that was being made, they can discuss it among themselves in the comments section and arrive at a conclusion as to what they want that to be, rather than sending back conflicting feedback that the designer then has to try and pass and figure out a solution to. So it saves the designer time, it saves the client time, and it's just yeah, very straightforward, very easy to use. Now what you'll see at your end if you're the designer, when you open up your review file, you will see a very similar interface to what you've already got online. And so I can just hit that, it takes me into the comment list. I can jump around the document, I can see the comments that have been made. I can reply to them if I want to. And Acrobat will also notify you when it opens up. So you launch Adobe Acrobat Pro it will provide you with a message saying there are comments on a review file and otherwise you'll also see there'll be notifications list. there'll be a notification indicator up here it's very straightforward it doesn't have anywhere near the complexity or the capabilities of a dedicated service so you can't for example load a newer version of a document so i can't go through these changes check them off and then go here's the next version of the file and have it just loaded at the same link you'd have to create a new review if you were doing it that way. I wouldn't be surprised if versions get added relatively quickly because it's probably going to be the feature that most people will want. But otherwise, yeah, it's quite a solid feature released without much fanfare. But it's there if you have a Creative Cloud subscription, you have access to this 